Hello guys, this is Adam. I hope that you are doing well and I am opening Maya 2023. Now, as you can see, we are recording the screen for this test in comparison to Blender. And the reason for that is just because I want to see the viewport in such. And then after that, I would see how it would look like in terms of uh, rendering as well. And I know more about uh, Maya in uh, comparison to a blender so as you can see right now this is the project and my screen is being recorded as well so please keep that in mind and in terms of the Mac we are using the M4 Mac the base model with uh, 16 gigabyte of RAM the base M4 SOC um, with the CPU and then the GPU and then we have 256 gigabyte storage which I do not recommend that you get at all so I do have my outliner on the left and I know a little bit more about uh, Maya in comparison to Blender so I will definitely do a more in-depth uh, guide so to speak and then probably the rendering I would test it closer to the very end even if I tested it because usually if you are rendering you just leave the thing on rendering or send it to a render farm and then you go to sleep but anyway so I do have my uh, layers right here and I do have my objects on the left uh, here in the outliner now this is a very old project that I did it was one of the very first projects that I did I think that was like three four years ago so please do not judge the topology the topology is not the best with that being said right now in the viewport working no issues at all I really like that now I really hate this is not organized the workspace so I would like to hide some stuff so UI element hide the status line uh, the toolbox and then help line and then the command and then the range slider as well because I am not doing any animations I would like all of these to be gone now this is better would I need the toolbox yeah probably I would anyway now usually when I work with uh, my eye honestly just hide everything and then probably just have my own shelf at the top right now in terms of moving that is good let's uh, remove the reference from the object so I can actually pick them for once let's go ahead right here to the chair so this is what I am talking about in terms of the topology being really bad so let's isolate that object isolating the object object is working just fine now let's say that I want to change camera so let's go to my render camera and then here is my render camera now let's just uh, frame it let me open the lights let's see does that do it right away okay that did not take a very long time I think that is something I can work with I want to close the eyeliner okay close the eyeliner and I want to close this as well um now let's do the shadows and then let's do the anti-alias and i think this is the one for it no this is for motion blur this is the anti-aliasing here we go now that is nicer and this is for the space ambient inclusion and then that is good no this is actually good this is so far not bad especially the topology for this project again was terrible because this chair should should not this chair should not have okay i cannot do, i need to do that oh yeah i need to do that okay fair enough yeah so the topology for this chair should not be like this like i can definitely clean it and probably have way less topology but again at the time i sculpted it and i did not even bother <laughs> <laughs> with making the topology clean so far it's working good let's test the apr so let's change to the perspective camera and then with this perspective camera i want that back and i want to hide that i want to hide that would be the room structure so visible okay fair enough now let's hide it for a second and then this is actually not bad in terms of working. Let's open the APR as I said. So this is using Arnold for the most part if I know a thing or two about where I would be rendering my stuff. So with that being said, I want my render view. Now here is my render view. This project is 8K so I want an APR. Okay, wow. Wow. That is fast. I know this is an APR, but it's still um, 7,360 by 4,912. So 
this is good do i have it on uh, let's see so we go to the view that yeah the test resolution is at 100 percent. i thought it's like at 10 percent or something maybe like save the from the setting by the way this is the first time that i opened the project here on this laptop so all of what you are seeing is in you so if you want to get a quick abr this is actually not bad this is not bad at all would i like it to be faster yes but this is an apr you just want to make sure that your lights are working and everything is in place and then you can just go from there and even you can most of the time what you will do is you will choose a section and then you will stop refresh and then you would be like hey just render this section to me and sometimes what i would do i would go to test resolution and i would be like you know what just give me this in 10 percent and that would be it and usually works very quickly it gives you what you want and then you will be good to go just to see how it would look like let's say from that angle and so far it's working very well i am very curious to see how long this would render when i am actually doing like a render and not just a quick abr to see what's happening but if you are working on maya and you're like you know what i want an abr and i want to model something then that would be good so so far this is working like it should i do not have any issues with uh, the project let's say that i want to duplicate that i can just duplicate it just fine and it has the worst apology ever now in terms of the top i think i have it oh yeah that is the three of it so you see how the topology is <laughs> anyway <laughs> um maybe this is shooting myself in the foot a little bit honestly for Maya, this is really good. Now, what I want to do, I want to open another project and see what that would look like. So, let's go to the project window. So, this is the second project. I had a project, I had another project for Find that I would have really love to show you, but it was rendered with the engine and redshift so I do not have redshift installed just yet but I will definitely do a test for redshift at some point so let's take a look at the car now so as well but that's not the point so 
this car right here and I did isolate it and a lot of the time when you are working on something and then you choose an object you isolate that object by itself and then you will be working on it as you can see right here and then you will do your extrude your inward extrude whatever that might be and you make sure the topology is good then you leave it be and then maybe you would duplicate it so let's duplicate that you would do this and then when you duplicate it you would be like yeah I want to do that now the floor is annoying a little bit so yep there you go the surface is gone so now I can actually grab that and then duplicate it I bring this let's say right here now grab those two move them uh, da -da 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 -da. I just want that and I just want that thank you very much I would move them here and then I would go to that and then duplicate it then I do that then I can rotate it now of course never rotate like that because you have tools here to use so well actually it was 90 it was 90 um dude I love blender anyway uh, sorry blender Maya <laughs> <laughs> um, and then that's how you usually work now definitely this should be centered right I mean for the demonst for demonstration purposes it's fine but it definitely gets on my OCD if it's not centered so this is the other uh, project and it's a tiny bit sluggish the laptop is not hot at all it's very cold um so maybe it's heavy or maybe it's just my eyes but anyway let's close the out the outliner and then let's see so i do have that i do have this this is now this is more of a recent project so the topology is a clean and i am somewhat happy about it now definitely this can be clean i mean eh, it's it's good either way it's 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 not that bad like I don't have triangles anywhere everything is clean everything is beveled I am happy with this now this is a massacre with how much there is should should there, there there should not be that much you know spheres or squares or whatever that might be but overall this is not me giving my work critique and feedback <laughs> well hey if you are giving yourself feedback that's mean you are growing as a 3d modeler and that's all that matters overall this project is working as it should and it's completely okay let's um i do have everything in here is fine let me change this because the color of it is in annoying so everything looks the same now with the blue actually you can see the difference and with that project as well everything is working now i do not think i have a render camera for this as well because this yeah i just have the perspective and that's because these objects usually what would happen is i would model them we would send them they would either be in a movie or a video game and then you call it a day but really thus far with me just opening my projects and then taking a look at how things are looking i can see myself working with the machine now i will definitely be doing another video where i will be working a project from start to finish and then seeing what hurdles i might have but so far it's it's working just fine now with this if even if i do an abr it will still give me a black image and the reason for that is i I don't have any source of light and this was just submitted like that and then exported and I called it a day so with all of this in mind let's go back let's go to I swear that was not on purpose for 69 you know don't get your uh, mind twisted uh, so for the verdict do I recommend using the M4 macbook air base model for mine the answer is yes and it has my stamp of approval